there's some major issues that's going on at our public schools, not only here in Hampton Roads, but all across the country, in which students are showing behaviors that teachers who have been in the field for decades have never seen in their life. I do believe this is part of the problem of ignoring what has happened during the pandemic. For the most part, people was put in a prison and don't realize that once you are put under those conditions, your mental, physical, and financial conditions change, which causes side effects. Side effects for you and for your family. And the world has to deal with the consequences of government officials in action and incompetence. Me being your next Virginia governor, the schools are not going to be the same that you have experienced and complained about throughout the time period of having your kids be put in harm's way every single day, even though school officials are fully aware and knowledgeable about what is going on in your child's life because you have made them aware of it. When I ran for governor before, I had a zero tolerance policy for bullying, even though schools claim to have it, they do not use it or enforce it. Under my administration and under my leadership, I will make sure it's enforced. It's called the three strikes and you're out. Three strikes of bullying, you go to the alternative school. The alternative school doesn't work. You go home and your parents have to face the problems that your child has caused directly. We cannot continue in this direction where parents feel that the schools are supposed to be the parents, not the teachers. And in that selfish regard, I'm going to make sure selfishness doesn't become the policy of Virginia schools, which has happened under both sides of leadership, Democrat or Republican, because they have not shown that they care. The schools are going to protect the schools more than your child. And I'm going to tell you, there will not be any way for schools to get around my policy because it's going to be the law of the land. I'm not going to have our kids' education disturbed because of a few rotten apples that are spoiled to the core. And more than likely, they have learned from their parents dispute resolution skills that would make even their own parents and grandmothers and mothers, mothers, and fathers, fathers from the past to the present turn over in their grave or turn over in shame. Our kids deserve better than what they have right now that is legislating laws in Richmond or D.C. or possibly in your local school board because they are the ones who are responsible for making sure that your kids have an environment to learn, not an environment to destroy. And that is what our kids are facing every single day that they get on the bus or you drop them off at school or however they make it. Some walk to school and even the dangers is ever present as they try to make it home from gangs and criminals and thugs and sex traffickers that continue to prey on them. Offering a few hundred dollars to give up their soul and their mind and their spirit and body. This is the facts, people. I am not going to ignore what they ignore. I wasn't built that way. I wasn't given that ability or gift that they got to ignore the problems and make excuses and blame others while continuing to further the corruption and the destruction of our kids and their future would shine bright had it not been for those who dimmed the lights. I understand what these kids is going through. I understand what these parents is going through. 
They go into school administrators, principals, senators, and more. Hoping to get answers to what is going on with their kids so their kids can go to the same school and be around their peers. Grow up the way that we grew up without having to be in fear every single time frame they walk out of the classroom or go to lunch and they have direct contact with those who have let them know repeatedly they intend to harm them. It won't be tolerated. It won't be tolerated at all with me being your next Virginia governor. Actually, our schools will see a 50 to 60 percent decrease in assaults and mischief that goes on in our school as I paint a picture for every school district and every student of my expectations for their child and their education, which comes with them having the momentum and motivation to learn, not to fight and destroy. My methods will work. The reason is because I won't be talking through them, I will be talking to them. Each and every single year, I will make sure I follow up on reviews and reports to make sure that they are enforcing the policy without any kind of discretion given to those who want to see it happen. Because some of these teachers want to see your child bullied because of what political ideology that you're on or just simply because they have a problem with the parent or they feel that the child itself is unworthy of the protections that they give to others because of personal bandettas and intentional disregard. We will have better teachers. We will have better classrooms as I motivate our teachers as well to go into private teaching, meaning you can teach from your home or rent out a building, but the state will support you as you work with students that are trying to learn that are in an environment in which you can teach and be paid a decent wage for the most part, more than you ever got paid by just being in the classroom and being around the toxic environment that takes away from your gift and career. Mean teachers are leaving out of the field of education, going into OnlyFans. What kind of future are we giving to our kids when they see that the career plan is to be a porno star stripper because they feel like it's too hard for them to be anything else other than what they dream about becoming. Dreams are going to be reality with me as the next Virginia governor because the kids is going to love their Virginia governor because they're going to say, my Virginia governor cares about me, cares about my family, cares about doing what's right, not protecting wrong. As parents, spend more time at work and less time at home. Our kids are further in danger by the perils and the stories that they have to live through every single day dealing with gangsters and criminals and more that want to see them fail and not succeed. I even offer to state legislators a scared straight program which will allow parents to voluntarily lock up their kids and give them the experience of what it's like to go on the wrong path. But lawmakers would not go with it because they fear they have violated their constitutional rights. But how can it violate their constitutional rights while also allowing for the violation of their victims to have to continue to deal with it? Parents are screaming all over our state and all over the country for help and assistance with their troubled children. Some are violent, some are on drugs, and some are thinking about suicide for numerous reasons. Instead of sending out the sex surveys, I would have been sending out pandemic surveys so kids can speak about what they've been through. 
the perils of the pandemic.